Hey guys, it's Kiki and it's Monday here on The Revolution. Um, I'm having to do this in one take because I'm at work, if you can't tell, a <laughs> different place. Um, yeah, so this week I, I'm, I'm standing in for, well, I traded places with Lisa, uh, so she will be, you'll see her be in his face on Wednesday. And I'm a little late because um, work and stuff and I got distracted. Anyway, so uh, this week we're talking about excuses we tell ourselves um, when we're trying to either start something for a healthy, you know, a healthy lifestyle type thing <laughs> um, or maintain it. And I'd have to say the biggest one for me is I make excuses usually in of a physical nature. Um, just to give a for instance, a year ago, I seriously, I talked about it here on the channel, I seriously damaged my ankle and my calf um, in an accident at work. And during the whole time I was healing, I was telling myself, well, you know, it's a lot of damage, I need to be careful, I need to not do stuff. Um, I literally could not lift my heel. It wasn't the fact of it hurt. I physically could not lift my heel for like three months. That's how bad it was. And um, like even sitting down, just sitting down, no weight on it at all other than just my leg. It wouldn't lift and it was just crazy. Uh, yeah, so I talked myself out of doing any any kind of exercise. That was my biggest thing. Is I was like I'd started I'd started working out. Well, not started. I'd started back up working out, and it was getting more regular for the last couple of years. But I was like, you know, I'm injured. Need to be careful. Da 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 da. And it was just an excuse, really. I could have done other things other than use my legs. Even using my legs in some kind of sitting fashion, like a bike or something, would have been better than not doing anything at all. Well, not long after I injured my ankle. I injured my knee and um, my doctor thinks I've actually torn cartilage in my knee. I'm actually supposed to be going in for an MRI here soon because it's not getting better. Um, I've had a lot of nerve pain and just not happy times. I've had, I've had pain, like a reverberating pain all the way up from my knee up into my hip. Like sometimes when I'm walking, it's just not been happy times. And yes, I'm in pain, but I've talked myself out of doing stuff like going to the gym or going for a walk or doing anything and again it's in those instances of I could do something where I'm not exacerbating that injury I could be doing something something small at least but I've talked myself out of it and I think a lot of that has to do with just a lot of the depression I'm going through right now but um yeah I I I, I allow myself to take something unfortunate that happened physically and tell myself, oh, well, you know, I need to wait. When really there are ways around it if you're that serious about it. Um, it's always good to do things and not hurt. Like if, if, if you are in a situation where you hurt yourself, uh, it is always good to do things in a way where you're not going to hurt yourself worse, but you still could do something. And so I'm having to figure that out. <sighs> Excuses. Um, Anyway, just a short video because, again, I'm at work and I'm not supposed to be doing this. Sneaky. Um, and I will see you guys next week on Wednesday as uh, regularly scheduled.